My name is Michael Platt, and I study the neurobiology of decision-making. There's several reasons why we find wrestling in particular, but also sports in general, to be of interest to us at the Wharton School of Business. Importantly, we're trying to develop brain-based metrics that predict high performance in really challenging situations. Yeah, we approached Dr. Platt initially with an interest of doing a study to determine where our wrestlers fit without necessarily having them run the risk of uh, wrestling live in their practices. And Michael and the team came back and said, would it be interesting to test a cognitive ability under fatigue? So those six minutes that you're on the mat uh, are the kind of worst minutes of your life. Within, you know, within 30 seconds, you are completely exhausted. So they were wearing headsets, they were wearing heart monitors. I think Dr. Platt and his team identified 160 columns of data that they were collecting. Heart rate, brain activity, um, eye activity. So it was incredibly uh, detailed and, and complicated. Our, our headgear is pretty revolutionary and it, its differentiator are the sensors that we developed in this laboratory which are, are patented and they achieve what had heretofore been impossible, which is simultaneously being really comfortable and highly wearable, but also providing clinical grade brain signals while people are moving around. One of the most kind of bedrock features of the way our brains work in terms of making decisions is that there's a speed accuracy trade-off. If you want to make a really good decision, you need to slow down but it's really hard to do that in high stress, high performance settings. And, and in fact, what we found in the wrestling team is that as wrestlers got more and more fatigued and we fatigued them, they actually started to make decisions faster and faster and faster. So they weren't managing that trade-off uh, very well. And the wrestlers who actually did best were the ones who could manage that trade-off better. So they didn't rush it when they were making decisions. One of our key takeaways was to make decisions that would be made you know, for an overtime situation late in a match under duress well in advance of that moment. So no one is making that decision under fatigue, under duress. So we know in the sport of wrestling you know, that the mental approach to it is tremendously impactful on the result. Anecdotally, we know this, but to partner with world-class researchers here at the University of Pennsylvania to study you know, what is the underlying factor that drives this you know, anecdotal knowledge that we have. And that was a tremendous opportunity to learn from Dr. Platt and his lab in this research project. I mean, we believe sports is a great petri dish, a great microcosm for life and for work. And so it is our strong conviction that these findings will translate to other domains. And actually we have some evidence for that. 